I know she had a cat, but... Well... I'm gonna make it look like an accident. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brian Ryder. I don't know if many of you noticed, but there's something missing on that shot. You know what it is? There's no camera. It is a mirror. And I'm wondering if people think about that. I think we take it for granted that cameras are not supposed to be seen, but there's a trick to it. So if you want to learn more about it, just come with me. So this is my scene. This is what you guys didn't see. And it is the camera. I'm shooting against the mirror, so it's really hard for me to hide it. I have to create a special contraption, which I'm not going to do. So I'm going to use uh, some built-in tools into the DaVinci Resolve Studio version to erase. Let me play a little bit for you. I'm moving, I'm inter interpreting the scene and there's some audio happening on the background, but the camera is still there, still on a tripod. There's a couple ways to remove this. So let's jump into the color page. So these are all my notes, they're my corrections, do not pay attention to that. What we need to do is create a, a serial note. The first thing you have to do is create or hit uh, option S, this create a new serial note. I'm gonna move it out of the way. Then I'm gonna find on the open effects panel, I'm gonna find object removal. There's a library with a bunch of effects in there and this should be under resolve effects revival. I'm looking for the object removal. The thing that I'm gonna do now is gonna drop it in. And then after dropping it in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a little mask. So open your mask panel. This is Resolve uh, 17. I'm gonna find the stylus or the pencil in here. And I'm gonna create as close as I can to the object, like a little mask for the Vinci Resolve to um, find the borders of it. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so I can simply go around and close the loop. It's very similar to what Photoshop will do. Let me go back to the screen so it's easy for you to see. You can show the mask or not. This is the, the area that uh, Resolve is tracking at this point. And I'm just gonna analyze the scene. It's gonna take a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds, depending on your system. And we are gonna wait. Do, 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 do. Then after this, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to build a clean plate. And that's it. If you go back to the editing option, you're gonna realize that the object has been removed completely. As simple as that. Now let me show you the method number two. We have our scene again. It has the camera. And we're gonna go back to the color page. We're gonna create a new serial node again. I'm gonna move it to the side. Let me put it right here. And then I'm gonna open the open effects and then we're gonna use the patch replacer. Patch replacer is very similar to the cloning tool in Photoshop. And what it creates is these two elements. This one that I'm moving right here, it is uh, what I need to erase. And this is the tracker from where it is erasing things. Couple of things that I will do in my case, I will move this to cloning because I understand Photoshop better than I understand DaVinci Resolve. And then you can play with uh, the different shapes, a rectangle and ellipse or alpha channel. I have used only rectangle and ellipse, uh, and then you can uh, adjust according to your needs. The way you move this one around or to erase, if you see I'm moving because it's copying from the top is you get the corners and then you kind of move the corners a little bit and start covering your object as much as you can uh, and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to blur the edges a little bit so it doesn't have much of yeah kind of contrast in color and I'm gonna check on my edit page how it looks like well I can see a little bit of the edges so you might have to tweak this a little bit more a little bit less depending on your needs and this is about what it does it has a little bit of the color in there so let me just tweak it a little bit more perhaps increasing the size by a tiny bit and that's it it is removed it has some edges then you can create a power window and then just uh, make sure the color is there but that's how it plays no camera again beautiful well that was it thank you guys for watching do not forget to like and subscribe if you like more content like this just leave me a comment down below if you want to learn more, if you want to chat, whatever it is. See you guys in the next one. Peace.